Hello, Insaniacs, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Alright, we have a problem. First, I took two missions. Test, or I mean, due to due to, due to, due to capsule and Arison scrap. Basically, two things left in space, people on them I need to recover. Uh, there's one. And the others on the back side of the planet or somewheres right right there so I need to go up and rescue them I, I tried to go up on test one but you'll see anything funny looking here number one I ran out of battery power um, I forgot parachutes <laughs> so I ran out of battery power, got low on juice, and realized I can't even bring this home even if I want to. So, yeah, not a good way to start. Also, once you create an orbit with something and then leave it there and go about your business doing something else, come back, you can't revert. So you have to be careful and make sure that you know, you're know you ready to go before you exit or stop the game or save or anything like that. Because once you're in space, you're in space. You have to get yourself back. There's no hit and escape reverting the flight. I can't do it. won't let me. So we're going to go back to the Space Center. And we are going to do a rendezvous mission. Basically, we're going to go up. We're going to get, uh, we're going to get Jebediah first. And we're going to load. I have a new one that I've called Rescue One. And there it is. I've got three pods. So if we have enough fuel when we get up there, we will do a... Uh, actually, this is not the one I want to use. We're going to work this over. We're going we're gonna to do something completely different. I'm going to load. I think I made one. Yeah. There we go. That's the auto saved. I never saved it. No, yeah, I did. Mun fly by. So we've got everything in here we need. This is the one that I'm going to do my Mun fly by with, but I'm also going to use it. I stuck a few extra of these on there so that I could use it to go and uh, rescue Jebediah and some of the other guys. Now I've upgraded some science and put uh, into the rockets. If we go back and look, I can show you real quick. I put points. Remember, we had that one. I bought this one and this one, which uh, just from doing Kerbal Science. As you can see, I have done a ton of the science of the science here on Kerbal or Kerbid, rather. A bunch of it. There's only a few that I haven't done now, and that's all the locations. I even went to the ice caps, but I forgot to do a temperature scan while there. But I got all the other stuff from the ice caps. Uh, I got the stuff from the tundra, the runway, KSC, the highlands, water, uh, the grasslands, the deserts, everything except for EVA reports. Some EVA reports are really hard to get uh, while flying over. And some of these space I need to do a polar orbit in order to get because you do not cross the shores. Well, the shores you kind of do sometime, but... Uh, the tundra and the uh, there's another one that goes here that's not showing for the ice caps um, you don't get unless you do a polar orbit which is a north to south instead of along the 90 degree line or whatever that's called all right so let me get set because this is gonna be a pain in the butt these always are and let's check out our people first make sure that we've got a pilot in there which we don't uh oh scientist scientist engineer where are my uh where's my other pilot all right let's put bob in there for right now let's go to launch No remote controlled or manned command modules. It won't be controllable. 
Got a man control module right there. What you talking about? Oh. There we go. Abort the launch. Okay, I see what I've done. I've already got the MUN out on the launch pad, so we'll just go out to the launch and we'll go to MUN flyby. And I bet this one's got my pilot in it. Find out right here. Yep, there's Valentina. All right, this is the same rocket. Nothing had to be changed, so we're good to go. We just need to get lined up. But first, we need to go out here to the orbital map. And we can see ourselves. We are there. And here they come. I could, I'm a little behind. So we got to wait. We'll go at about that, about three speed. We'll, we'll go catch this guy first. And we'll go back and get, I'll go back and get Jeb off camera. Basically what I'm doing is I'm setting an intercept up. I want to let this guy get, I don't know, somewhere in about in here before I launch. Probably even closer. I'd say probably right about there where I'm pointing. Once he gets right about in here somewhere, then I want to do my launch and then hopefully I can catch him. All right, that should be good. Probably wanting to be a little bit closer, but it's all right. So let's go back to the staging and we're going to just take off. So we need to turn our, we got our SAS on, turn our power on. And here Something seems wrong. No, it's right, but something's backwards. Everything's backwards. This should be the 90 degree line and I'm not quite revert flight. Wait a second. Why can't I revert? This is strange. This is very strange. Oh, here, let me fix it. All right, and we're back. So, let's do this. I don't know exactly what it was, what happened, but I exited and reloaded, and it, it's working properly now. It's lined back up. I think I had to spin my cockpit around. I did try that. Right. So what's his seventy-five points say seventy-six? Is it seventy-five-ish? I can look down here, my epilapsis. There we go. So app perhaps is just about the same, so they should be right on top of each other almost. And I'm going to have to come in some, so while I'm burning, I'm going to have to burn down. So we're going to set up a maneuver here and open it out. Hey, 
There we go. We'll be inside his. And outside. So let's shift. We got to hurry because we're about to hit this maneuver node. All right. It's really hard to turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to pass the maneuver node. I can't move it. All right. Really hard to move this thing. There we go. And he passed us way, way too far. So yeah, we were way too, uh, we were way too close. But it's all right. We're going to set our orbit up on the inside of his. And then we'll be moving faster than he is. So we'll set ours up right at about 70K. And we'll be doing faster than him. And we should still have tons of fuel. Oh yeah, look at all that fuel. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. trying to keep my altitude I'm back inside the uh... there we go alright so we're gonna stay out and that's on the inside And uh, there we go. So let's, what is this at, 58? Really cannot, is my batteries? I've got juice. All right, let's just get rid of that. Now maybe I can turn the thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, so what I want to do, what's my uh, periapsis? Apple apps is at 123. That's way too high. But it's all right. I can just, I can adjust when we get around to, uh, when we get around to my Apple apps, or my periapsis, rather, or yeah, my Apple apps, rather. See, it's way outside. But when I get around here, what I can do is add a maneuver. What the hell? Oh, wait, no, I had this one still on there. So I can add a maneuver, and then I can... Actually, I'm good. No, I need to increase my uh, periapsis out. So prograde. We're going to take it out. To about there which will give us a periapsis of about 71 so we'll come yeah, that's good 71 is good all right and we can take this guy set him as our target 
now we can go fast forward we can only do by this little dinky 4x right now because we're we're still there it goes now we can really go burn in two minutes so we're going to point towards the right direction which is the little blue one and I'm doing a really cheesy job of this right this moment because you know I screwed up and went up a little bit too late but it will get the job done eventually just be a little bit long take a little bit longer than it normally does so I'm time lapsing so that we can uh, or time warping to get our burn time down and this isn't going to take but about a four or five maybe a six second burn to adjust this because it's just very tiny so we're going to get back to normal three that should be plenty long and that should be dead on and it is perfect my periapsis height 71.4 which is exactly what I wanted it now I'm outside so he's going to get further ahead of me In all actuality, I know that I was trying to get... Nah, let's do that. Let's stick what we're doing. So let's go. First thing that we need to do is this. We need to change our, our normal. Right now, our... I'm not looking. I'm looking at the uh, descending node. We're going to add a maneuver. And I'm going to inc or to lower my the descending node. Whoops. Let's get rid of that. So you get on your orbit, add a maneuver right at the descending node. What that means is if you look, notice how I'm kind of coming up and down and he's going down to up. Well, we'll never really be able to get close to each other because of that. So what you got to do to fix it is you create a waypoint or a maneuver. And then you use this to change your descending, or there it goes. Change it because that's ascending nodes now at zero of zero. 0, .0 .0 NA. They're, they're all, they all mean you're, you're on point. You're, you're where you need to be. Alright, there I'm lining up on the target. And that's my periapsis. So after we do that... I need to quickly set up another maneuver to shrink my apoapsis. Let's see. Can we, uh, I'll just do this one manually when we get there because it's going to throw it throws other things off other markers off once we get lined up on the same plane then it's just a matter of me getting outside or inside which I'm probably gonna go outside and let him catch up to me even though he's really only that that far ahead that's me no that's me and that's him even though he's only that far ahead I don't have a lot of room to get in he's at 80 so I could get in about 5,000 meters 
and it would be a slow wait. You know, you'd have to wait two or three days before he actually circled enough times and sped up enough to eventually, you know, work his way slowly around to get back on track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my uh, leave the majority of my orbit outside his. And then this one I'm just going to put right inside, or I mean right on it, which I actually need to extend that out a little bit. But now it's just a matter of getting it level, and then I can stretch this further out so that I go further out, giving him more time to get, you know, laps around on the inside to uh, speed up. So let's speed up. We've got 11 minutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, node in about five second burn so it's not too big a deal I'm gonna go double speed so in about two seconds I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my burn All right, so that should get us our, it should be close. So where's my, uh, let's burn, get rid of this. And how about, about 0 0.1. So I'm off by 0 0.1, which is fine. That's still really close. I mean, we're almost on top of each other still. And it won't get any worse because you're in space. I mean, you, you once you get these alignments set up, you're there. All right, so 121 and 71. Let's see, what else did I need to do? I needed to set up. Add a maneuver. All right, so we can figure, at least now, where to point, which is right there on the 90 line. Basically point at prograde. And we can increase our uh, apple wapses out. There we go. We got our apple wapses out a little bit further, as you can see, which is going to be a much larger orbit so that he spins faster around the inside. All right. So now it's just a matter of doing this number. We're tracking him. I'm just looking to see how bad it is. I think what we might do on my next lap around, yeah, on my next lap around, I'm going to extend this side out some because all of these orbits now are all lined up pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to there. Actually, let's go ahead and stop it now. We can go ahead and set it up. Add a maneuver to set this out. To about there there we go and now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be really far out and um, hopefully hopefully it's gonna put me very far out and then I'll be able to let the very first one which is doodaz will catch me first so I can pop in and grab him and then hopefully I can pop in to grab Test, and then I can pop in to grab Arisian. Hopeful, hope, hoping here. I'm not positive. I don't. I'm not really good at all this anymore. I used to could just come up here, and no problems. But you know this ain't then. All you got to do is watch that little clock down there in the bottom. Eleven minutes. 10, 9, it's going to be an 18 second burn, so i got to stop this at about a minute. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, so here we go. 
We're almost pointed at the right place. We've moved off just a hair. All right. With the burn, 18 seconds, so nine and nine. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight. When this gets to nine seconds. There we go. All right, perfect maneuver. Okay, so now we need to get rid of it. There we go. And now we're really far out here. At 160,000 by 157, so we're almost in a perfectly circular orbit also. So now it's just a matter of watching until I, uh, one of these guys catches me, which they will relatively soon. I'm below 240,000. That's as fast as we can go. Come on, slow pokes. Isn't this so exciting? But they're slowly. Watch them. They'll catch. He'll catch me. There he goes. It's got to be patient. All right, he's getting close. I'm out. So yeah, we need to get a maneuver coming in. Add a maneuver. We need to set him as a target first. Is he set as my target? Set as target. All right, let's see if we can't. Come on now. Let's put this away for right now. We need to move this. Not that. We need to. Come on, let me grab the damn circle. There we go. There we go. Somewhat of a of a of a thingy. An encounter. Not much one though. I think I screwed up again. All right, no, there we go. We've got it now. It's going to be a wonky burn. 
but we've got it. Hopefully we've got it. Whoa, slow down. Slow down. Don't get all nilly-willy. We don't have a lot of time either. All right, so we got about a nine second burn, so about five seconds before T minus five, we'll start burning. And hopefully that'll line us up for that intercept, because that's really close. We're less than a kilometer away. That's 900 meters away. I mean, once we get to, and once we get really close, we can start the whole, uh, Alright, good. So let's get rid of this now. And yeah, that's going to bring us to within, well, 3.7 kilometers. So we can play around with it and see if we can uh, get it a little bit closer. 0 0.27, oh, we're going backwards now. Alright, so. 1.5 kilometers is more than enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to target. And that shows us our relative velocity compared to the target. And uh, what we want to do now, because that's him and this is us, is not a whole lot, but once we get close over here, we get within a, you know 1,500 meters, then what we'll have to do is we'll have to burn... I want to see something. I want to make sure that this retro and prograde are based on the target. They are. So those are based on my target. Outstanding. Okay. So that's away from and, and that's that's the target's retrograde. So once we get into where we want to go, I can then push my my retrograde over onto his and that'll get us real close together on the same path now the way that it works when you're working out here is you push a retrograde a direction you pull a prograde some direction so if i need my retrograde marker in other words my reverse thrust the backwards if i need my retrograde moved in lined up with his i have to push it there so in other words i have to get my little indicator here on the outside of the retrograde marker and burn and it will slowly push that retrograde marker towards his you can push it around if his was right there then I could get down up underneath it right here and then burn and it would slowly push my retrograde marker up until I got it on his and then I could stop so we are 11 minutes to this intersect. So let's speed up just a hair. I want to jump out of the map. How much fuel? Good gosh, we've still got tons of fuel. We could go to the moon today, folks. I'm serious, in this jet, we could have, this plane, this is definitely going to make it to the moon without any problems. This would make it to the moon. We can orbit the moon, probably land on the moon, and then take off again, and then still come back. We've got that much fuel. I'm just moving us towards this intersect. Once we get close, I'm going to pause it. Now, this episode's going to be a little bit long, and I'm just going to rendezvous. This is how you do a rendezvous. Or, well, this is a bad way of how to do it, but it's still, this is how you fix a screw-up and make a rendezvous work. See, right now, we're still relatively close to each other. We're only 3K from each other. So, what I want to do is I want to find out, let's see, 
There's his. Now I'm moving 123 towards him. So now we can start playing with it, but perfect time to hit quick save, just in case you screw something up. And I am known for screwing stuff up. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Towards my oh, retrograde, there we go. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. I just want to get my speed going nothing, doing nothing. Now, also, also, a lot of that information that I was talking about pushing and pulling retrograde, I think that only works in orbital map, orbital. I don't think it works in target. I think they've added this whole targeting thing so that you can just aim at yours and uh, you know now I want to go over this way so now how far is my target All right, we need to get out of here first this way we can start seeing it we should be close to it now where is it There it is. All right. Let's look inside. Oh, good golly. All right, let's get the chase cam. This is the method I like to use to fly. And we're flying directly at him. Now we're only doing you know, 1800K or 18 meters per second, which I could speed us up just a little bit. And now we can turn around and we can burn retrograde when we start to get too close. That way we can slow us down. And this really sucks with one of these long ships, but this guy's got so much fuel in it that I'm not, I'm not taking much of a chance. 400. 300 All right, we should be able to swap to him now. Yeah. Um Space to let go. Let's get off this thing. All right, where'd my ship go? Let's go back to it. All right. There we go. Don't worry, folks. We're coming back. You gotta pull the. Uh, I don't. I don't know which way's up and down now. There we go. I don't care about the capsule. There we go. All right. Slow down, Dodish. All right, we just passed him. But it's okay. Oh, I can't wait till I get RCS. Because we're going to creep up on him now. Remember, you gotta push. You gotta push this. Even still, I guess, in this. 
Come on. There we go. Stop. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. No! Wrong direction! I'm trying to do this with a keyboard and it's hard. And I'm not accustomed to it, so I'm still hitting the wrong buttons. Alright. Now we're still going away from him. He's 383 kilometers away. Come on! It's backwards because I got rotated around. Alright, let's go. Alright. So we're going directly at him now. Which is what I want. And then we can slow down once we get really kind of close to him. We gotta push this. Damn it! It's backwards and it's messing me up. <laughs> Alright, so don't worry, folks. Zero point nine meters a second. Uh, be careful. Go, oh God, wrong way. Everything is so turn upside down, turn back. There we go. Slowly getting away from us, but not too bad. All right, let's go jump on Dudas. Is that it? Yes. No. <laughs> Come back! Now I can't say it. Oh, wonderful. I got a freaking light. Wrong button. I really, really need to go in and set up my freaking keys badly. But, regardless of how shitty it looked and how bad it went, which way goes down? Control. Alright, where's the freaking thing. I need to grab hold of the thingy. There we go. I think that's it. Shift. Control. All right. <laughs> I'm sure this was a pretty bad example of how to do this, but by God, we got in there, didn't we? And we still got tons of fuel, so we're going to control from here, get out of this, and then two dads capsule is empty. So our target is lost. 
We are on a 85.79, so our orbit's even better than it was. Where are we at? We are right there. So, I don't know. We're going to have to bust our orbit back out again and then wait for the next one to catch us. Or we can stay inside like this and I will eventually catch test. Um, actually, no, I won't. So yeah, when I get back over here, I'm going to kick my, uh, my thingy back out about like that. You know, around in there or so. And then when I get to the other end, I'll pull this one out. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Or at least that's how Zane does it. A little bit crazy, but a little bit in Zania. <laughs> All right, so we, we rescued a guy and we did it in piss poor fashion. But again, we got it. It's just, I need to set up my keys so that I can control them a little bit better because I hit the wrong keys and directions aren't, they don't make sense sometimes. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. We went into space, we re rescued one of the mission guys. Now we've still got two more out here and I've got two more pods. Or I think I've got two more pods. So we're gonna rescue them and uh, then head back home and then probably I'll do that off camera because I just did it once on camera so I'll rescue the other two off camera and then in the next episode folks we are going to moon mun m-u-n so stick around you'll enjoy that one that's a long yes right over there see that guy right there that's where we're going to so we're actually going to leave Kerbin go out do a rendezvous, land, or orbit moon a couple times, moon a couple times, and then we'll come back. And then eventually, we'll skip out and rendezvous with Minmus. And then a little bit later after that, it's time to start going to some of these other planets. Duna, Eve, uh, Moho. You got Drez, Jewel, and uh, uh, Ek Elio or Elu or however you say it so yeah hope you guys are having a good time if you are please click that thumbs up button comment let me know tell me how bad I did on this because I'm, I'm openly going to admit you can go watch my other rendezvous mission I did two years ago where I was using my flight stick and I had some practice with the game and I did a pretty damn good job and this today this is like uh, very very beginner style so if you do it better than this bravo all right, guys. Also, if you enjoy this stuff, subscribe. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.